Welcome back to the AB Lab. Today we're diving deep into the world of AB testing to uncover the most common mistakes and more importantly, how to avoid them. AB testing is a powerful tool, but it's easy to stumble if you're not careful. Let's explore these pitfalls and learn how to stay on the right track. Mistake number one, not setting clear goals. One of the biggest blunders is diving into A-B testing without a clear goal in mind. You need to know exactly what you want to achieve and which metrics to measure. Before you start testing, define your objectives up front. Choose the right KPIs that align with your goals. Mistake number two is not collecting enough data. Small sample sizes can lead to misleading results. Avoid making decisions based on incomplete or insufficient data. To avoid data issues, ensure your sample size is statistically significant. A sample size calculator is a great way to ensure enough volume for significant results. Mistake number three, ignoring segmentation. Treating all your users the same can be a mistake. Your audience is diverse and different segments may respond differently. Here's some tips to avoid this problem. Segment your audience based on relative factors like demographics or user behavior. Run tests for each segment separately to identify nuances. So there you have it, common A-B testing mistakes and tips to avoid them. A-B testing is a journey of learning and optimization. And by avoiding these pitfalls, you're well on your way to success. In our next episode, we'll uncover more secrets to effective A-B testing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. Thanks for joining us today in the A-B lab. I'm Matthew Ravlich, and together we'll conquer the world of A-B testing. See you next time.